Hey everybody, good day and good energy to y'all. Um, so first off, I want to just give a shout out to Gabriel Cruz, man. He's done a lot of great work on biofuel. And um, he uh, used to work for the uh, cell phone companies, the communication companies. And in doing so, um, he learned a lot about um, ley lines, which are just energy grid lines in the earth that are just set up, <clears throat> just lines in the earth where energy is emitted, you know, more powerfully than other areas. And also just the effects that cell phone antennas and cell phone devices have on the human psyche um, and just on the overall bio field or the energetic field of everything. Um, and how this ties into, I mean, he, he, he breaks it down to some really, he, he ties it into politicals and how mafias are using these, you know, so-called, they're not so-called, they're just, they're using, it's a different market. It's like a, um, I don't even know how to explain it really, but <clears throat> they're using signals uh, to transfer funds and they're able to create their own kind of like Wi-Fi areas, you know, where they can do things independent from anybody else seeing tracking or knowing what the fuck they're doing and i think this is why they're getting away with a lot of their um transactions and uh, this is, they also have fallback people that are set in place which makes total sense because they know that eventually enough of fucking humanity is going to get irritated and start asking questions and start looking into things so you know it makes sense that they would have fallback people just ready to fucking go down when the time is ready to go down and especially if they've got clones now, you could easily just have a clone be like, yeah, this is so-and-so's name, this is what this clone did, and he's ready to be taken to jail whenever the fuck, you know, enough heat comes in one area, they can throw these particular, you know, clones or clowns, whatever, and they're not even clowns, they're clones, or they're just not real life forms from the most high, they're manipulated from another source, you know, and that's their fallback, that's their scapegoat, that's what they use to uh you know also be a symbol of a punishment you know and by doing that they're able to show the people that they are you know persecuting those that are being bad but in fact they're really not you know it's just an appearance so um <clears throat> thank you gabriel cruz for doing all that good work and can, you know i'd love to see more videos um yeah, whatever whatever you know I, I get it people take breaks and everything but he did one like yesterday and listening to it and watching it um i was just really it was good to hear, you know, I also found it educational and it also brought me back to, you know, love and how powerful love energy is and how that really is our greatest weapon in this spiritual battle that we're in and how it's also the one thing, I say one thing, I mean, love is everything, but you know, it's it's what they're keeping, when I say they, it's, it's these people that I've just been talking about that I think are in cahoots with extraterrestrials and, you know, it's a few families that are spread out all over the world and they're able, based on their knowledge, resources, capabilities, um, which stem from a very spiritual standpoint, um, they're able to influence governments and, and thus they're able to influence the populace of the governments. And since they're in cahoots with evil or lower vibrational energies, negativity, badness, corruption, whatever you want to call it, whatever it is to you, um, they are, and they have been programming mankind to operate at a lower vibrational realm of being, you know, which is away from love. Love is a higher vibrational realm of being and, you know, hate, shame, guilt, fear, pain, all, I'm not pain, but depression, sadness, you know, not even sadness, but just these lower realms of things that are very base and very self-centered and very, um, selfish, you know, are a lower vibration and the way these cities are designed are designed with the intent to keep us at a lower vibrational frequency. Even the cities themselves are designed to be giant antennas, in my opinion. And, you know, even just the fact that every single household nowadays has phones, has televisions, has these things that send and receive signals um, is a giant antenna. So, you know, if you think about it, you have all these programs keeping humanity down and dumb and, you know, afraid. Um, and if these people really are feeding off of fear, which is what I think they are doing, fear, not, not just fear, it's also anger, it's, it's all of them. It's all the lower vibrational energies. They feed off of them all, and they're also pushing them all. They're able to feed off of them through these devices that I'm speaking to right now. You know, and they're also able, I think, to send signals to anybody and everybody based on what they got going on in their life. You know, if you've got a problem with drugs, they're probably going to be sending you some fucking signals telling you to go do drugs, you know, and... 
So it works on who you are, you know, and they can also mix it up and change it up however they want to, you know. <clears throat> so, you know, it's casting spells, you know, and I do think that they have the ability to sit back and whatever type of, you know, place they have, laboratory they have to do these things, and they could literally put together numbers of different things imbued with certain feelings and energies and, you know, informations and send them to certain individuals and get them to feel and think, you know, a certain way to a certain degree based on who they are. This is also why it's so important to know who you are and to have your love vibrations up because when you have your love vibrations up, that's actually literally a higher vibrational energy shield or force field that you have around you at all times. So it's gonna help to block any type of spell that's sent your way, any type of negativity. It's also just gonna help you take care of your daily routine that much better because you're going to have that much goodness that much love that much light inside of you you know but again you know <clears throat> this is why for me it just makes common sense once you start to realize these cities and what they're all about and that the fact that all of this stuff comes from capitalism all of this stuff comes from evilness all of this stuff does have a taintingness with it and until we start to transmute that and acknowledge it for what it is it's going to continue to corrupt us and corrode us you know um so, you know, for me, again, it goes back to getting out of the cities, detaching mentally, physically, and spiritually, getting back to grow. We need to start growing an infrastructure. We need to start doing good work that's good for the human body and good for the earth and good for, you know, all of mankind and start focusing on projects that are actually going to help the people that really need help. Like, why can't, you know, thousands of us come together and start developing ways to first feed ourselves and get a sustainable system of feeding ourselves down together. And then once we have that sustainable system going, you know, we won't, it, it'll be sustainable. So it'll be an ongoing thing and we'll have the time and space to build more things. And then from that plethora of abundance, we can then share our abundance with others, but we can also share in 